All right, so in this video, we're gonna start talking about coordinate geometry. Uh, we're in section 1.8. In this video, we're going to uh, go over the quadrants and what the X and Y coordinates are going to be in those quadrants. And then we're gonna graph regions in the coordinate plane, okay? So, uh, first off, we gotta remember quadrant one uh, starts up here on the top right of the coordinate plane. We're, we're gonna move in a uh, counterclockwise fashion to get to the other quadrants, okay? In quadrant one, notice both X and Y are positive, okay, because we're moving right and up, so X and Y are positive. In quadrant two, X is negative, Y is positive, okay, we go left and up, so that's why X is negative and Y is positive. In quadrant three, continuing counterclockwise, uh, we're going left and down, so notice both X and Y are going to be negative there in quadrant three. And then finally, we get to quadrant four, we're going right so X is positive and we're going down, so Y is negative. So just some real basic information there just to kind of get your mind in the right spot, okay? So we've got three problems here. We're going to graph these regions in the coordinate plane, okay? Uh, we want to describe and sketch the regions given by each set. So this first set here is in the coordinate plane. This X comma Y here just says we're in the coordinate plane. And we're going to, the set is that X is greater than or equal to zero, okay? So... Uh, this represents the set of all points with an x-coordinate of 0 or greater, okay? And that set is going to lie on the y-axis, okay, or to the right of the y-axis. So, so let's go look at a graph and graph the region. All right, so to graph that region, okay, all x-coordinates greater than or equal to 0, the first thing we want to do is to uh, graph the line x equals 0, okay? So that's the vertical line, also known as the y-axis. Um, remember, all uh, lines of the form x equals some number are going to be vertical, okay? So that's going to be part of our solution, but then we also said we need everything to the right of the y-axis. So we're going to shade in all of quadrant 1 and quadrant 4, okay? So that's how you graph the region x greater than or equal to 0. Okay, moving on to the second problem here. So we want to describe and sketch the region uh, given by the set uh, in the coordinate plane, okay, y is equal to 1. All right, so to describe that, it's the set of all points with a y-coordinate of 1, okay, and that's the horizontal line that's one unit above the x-axis, okay? So let's go graph that real quick. All right, so the to graph the region y equals 1, it's just going to be that horizontal line, okay? Every point along that horizontal line has a y-coordinate of 1, okay? Uh, notice that in this region, we're not shading anything because it's an equation, not an inequality, okay? So we're just going to have the line one unit above the x-axis, uh, the horizontal line y equals 1, okay? So that's how you graph B. Let's move on to C. All right, the final region we're going to graph here, we're going to graph in the coordinate plane, the absolute value of y is less than 1, okay? Uh, we need to remember, okay, from the previous section that when you have an absolute value inequality, if we've got a less than symbol here, then we've got what I kind of refer to as a, an in-between inequality. So y is going to be between negative 1 and positive 1, okay? So the region is going to be represented by every value between the, the horizontal lines there at y equals negative 1 and y equals positive 1, okay? Now, one thing we need to remember, because the inequality symbol does not include the or equal to part, like it did in part A here, the horizontal lines that we're going to graph for y equals negative 1 and y equals positive 1 are going to be those dashed lines, okay? In part A, we drew a solid line over the y-axis because it included x equals 0, okay? So just remember that. Do you use a dashed line or do you use a solid line? In this case, we're going to use two dashed lines, okay? So let's go take a quick look at the graph, and then we'll be finished with this little part. Okay, so like I said before, you're going to have dashed lines at y equals negative 1, okay? That's the, the line here, and you're going to have a dashed line at y equals positive 1, which is that line right there, okay? And we said this region includes everything between those two parts, so we're going to want to uh, shade in everything between those two lines, okay? So that's the region that represents the absolute value of y is less than 1, 